this is Regina and today I'm going to take you into a, a setup hopefully if a customer she let if my customer allows me to but I'm going to show you how to use your television as a monitor for your computer and as a television so get ready this is the new one, and I'm going to take my cable off and use your cable, because your cable is the new one. Okay. That's the old one. This is the new one. I love the plastic on, so you can pull your plastic off if you choose to. Okay, okay. Since I don't have grandkids now, I feel the mother like this. I'm going to put this over here, Paul, when I go off. I'll have that off. Mm -hmm. That's that remote. Hold it. Okay. That goes back out the receiving here. Plug in the end. Goes the radio shack. There. All right. And the remote control is in the box. Here. Turn it on with the power. And do I have it on? Yes. Okay. And I'm going to turn her computer on too. So that I can find my source. And the source is going to be the VGA cable, so it's already set up. So I tell it, okay. And I'm just waiting for the computer to boot up. So once it gets booted up, then I can make sure my screen that everything's working. This takes a little bit of time. I have to turn it off and turn it back on because let them come on together. While it's doing that, I'll go ahead and look at the TV. And it's hooked to an antenna. <clears throat> I think it's that one. Nope, not that one. Alright. Let's go up. That's still there. The only channel I'm going to be able to get, maybe. My fancy antenna. Oh, I ask, I hope she has one. Because this is not work. <laughs> Just like when you set up any other antenna, you go and you locate your um, channels. It's not going to find a lot of channels because it's a, just a regular antenna. So I'm just going to go here, oh, out there, here, and let it scan and see which channels it'll pick up. 
Ain't that well? But she's definitely going to have a, 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 a scan, an antenna to find some channels because this antenna is probably too weak. But a good digital antenna will make her be able to get any channels that she want to watch on this. And I'm going to reboot her computer after I find a channel or two and see if it will bring this monitor up. But it should be fine. So it's looking. We haven't found a channel yet though. Maybe we'll find one. I hope. Ah, found three. That's good. And this is what we're looking at. Search your channels. It's found three out of 20. It'll probably go up to 135. That's what it did when I ran the first test on it. And then when we find our channels, then we can actually see TV with it, with this remote. And then we'll actually be able to use the computer as a regular computer too. So she'll use this remote to handle it, to put her input in. Imagine three is all we're going to get. Oh, six. We found six channels. <laughs> this is good because that is a cheap antenna. So with a nice antenna, she probably can pick up ten, at least ten. But the remote, she's going to use her source to find, if she clicks that, to find her input. And just go to TV or to VGA, which is this cable, at least, to the computer. That's what cable is connecting to the computer to make her be able to see the computer screen. But when she's not using that, she uses source, input, and then she finds her channels. Six is pretty good, though. I'm impressed. This setup will work on any computer. This is a, a Windows XP machine, but it'll work on any computer. It will also work on a laptop because you can use this screen as an additional screen or a bigger screen to see your laptop. So a lot of people are doing that to use both. Channel 4 is not our best channel. We're going to look for a clear. Channel 4 is now showing after I put it down. <laughs> okay. This is a cheap antenna, so a good antenna will show all of these. Really good. I think I'm going to start a client and manners and Okay. Source. Now I'm going to go back to try to get the computer on. So here. Okay. Okay, it's not. So I'm going to reboot the computer. Alright, now I'm going to let it reboot. Yeah. I got to see where I'm connected in the back of this one. Alright, going around behind the computer. You have to plug the cable in for it to work. And there's a VGA connection underneath it. Plug into it and tighten it up. There we are. So if you 
plug in the VGA cable before you start, you will probably see the computer screen a lot quicker. And now it's a computer screen. Okay. That's it.